Hi everybody, today is Friday, June 17th, and I wanted to uh, record this short video summarizing my comments on the first drafts of your Describing the Current Situation documents. First of all, please go ahead and read my comments on each of your um, documents in Google Docs, and uh, then um, I'd like to summarize some of the impressions that I have from reading these documents. So I think uh, every team, when you revise, you should pay attention to the following um, couple of key components of these um, of this assignment. Number one, uh, perhaps with one exception, I did not really get a good feel as a reader as to what the current problem that your um, a proposal, be it a grant proposal or whatever other kinds of proposal that you're trying to solve. So, for example, when you talk about what the organization does and how it works and how important it is, you need to really understand and articulate for yourselves and for your clients and for your potential funding sources specifically what problem you will be trying to solve. For instance, if you talk about retention of students, the fact that it's important, the fact that it's important to retain students is kind of a given. You don't need to argue for that. What you need to show is exactly, specifically, locally, what problem the organization, your client, which deals with retention, is facing, which your proposal would hope to solve. Okay, Not just retention is important, we need to do it better, we're going to get some money to do it. Specifically, what is the problem, what has not been done, and how your um, proposal, if your proposal will help them solve that problem. That's one. Second, um, a couple of documents went really heavy on secondary research and kind of just wrote a broad overview of sort of um, issues with um, funding, with current situations, with the importance of the work that your clients are doing. That's not really what the current situation document is supposed to be about and not how it's supposed to work. Your main goal in this document, again, is to give yourself and your client a very precise, very concrete, very detailed sense of the specific problem that your client is facing, which you will be hoping to solve through your proposal. Okay, So, don't talk about, here's why this work is important. Here's how somebody somewhere said that it's important to do X, Y, and Z. Maybe a little bit, but mostly talk about what the specific problem is, what the specific situation for your local client is, and then from there, how are you going to try and solve this. Number three, begin thinking about the kind of proposal you're going to write and begin so begin thinking about what kinds of interventions, what kinds of um, help from you, your client will need. For instance, is it money? If they need money, then you would be writing a grant proposal. Is it some other kind of help? Is it better management? Is it better um, workflow, better organization, better something, better collaboration? Articulate in your current uh, situation description what it is that needs to be done okay so what is the problem locally concretely with your client and what needs to be done these are the things that you need to focus on when you revise for next week okay um, so check out the comments by your teammates by your classmates and by me and let me know if you have any questions as a um, peer reviewer also remember that your job is not to get this thing done as quickly as possible and as efficiently as possible but to actually provide meaningful useful feedback which corresponds with the assignment given to you so when you comment if something is not right if you notice that something is not working well within the document don't be afraid to say so we're not freshmen here this is not a popularity contest we're not trying to be nice to each other we need to help each other out help each other in creating better descriptions because that will allow you to um, create better documents in the end.